Mosquitoes may not look like complex creatures, but they're able to use their sense of smell to find their way to humans and decide whether they want to take a bite or fly on by. Now researchers are using that sense to repel the mosquitoes by overstimulating their sense of smell. It's like getting on an elevator with someone who's put on way too much perfume. It's like turning up the TV way too loud. You leave the room. It's real simple. Dr. L.J. Zwiebel and other researchers have been working for 15 years on this idea at Vanderbilt University, testing nearly one million chemicals. It's a completely new concept. Recently, they landed on one synthetic molecule that overloaded a mosquito's sense of smell so much that it is 100,000 times more effective than DEET. Vanderbilt University allosteric agonist number one. That's the name of the molecule, or VUAA1. And if you confine a mosquito into an area where it can't get away from this, it will just go crazy. That reaction could keep diseases like the Zika virus and malaria from being transferred to humans. We're just trying to push the mosquito away, go somewhere else, have a live a long life, but not near us. Now researchers at Vanderbilt are trying to discover a similar molecule that will target a mosquito's sense of taste. We're trying to develop ways to use that information to keep mosquitoes from biting people. If VUAA1 is developed and found it is non-toxic, it could be made into a spray or even into a laundry detergent so it could be in your clothes, repelling the mosquitoes that way, and even paint so that you could put it on the side of a silo and the bugs wouldn't go in and go into all of the food in there. The interesting thing about VUAA1 is also that it doesn't just impact mosquitoes, but it was for all bugs, whether that be bees, spiders, or ants. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Knutson, News Channel 5.